Today on The Occult Detective, we're going to take a look at my top 10 favorite horror novels. Number 10, The Amityville Horror. I know it's billed as a true story, but let's ignore that for a moment. Just as a pure haunted house and demonic possession novel, Jay Anson does just a wonderful job of capturing mood and tone and really as a kid this, this just scared the hell out of me so it had to make the list. Number nine, Richard Matheson's Hell House. It's kind of a take on Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of Hill House but th this is such a, a great occult detective novel and it's just so wonderfully written and Matheson was just a master of pacing and this this novel just really really screams horror number eight house of leaves this book is chaotic surreal I, uh, you can't really define it it is bold and experimental and just creeps the hell out of you. Number seven, Peter Straub's A Dark Matter. When I read this book, it struck me very hard. And it's because in a lot of ways reading it, it reminded me of real events in my life when I was young and I, I won't go into those details you may have heard the story before but it's just a, a powerful novel of magic gone wrong number six Shirley Jackson's The Haunting of Hill House I just adore this book I love Jackson's language I love the way she manipulates the reader and takes you on a journey through this house that is alive and just the, the deep connections between the occupants and the house itself and the spirits that reside there. A terrific occult detective novel and uh, just one of my favorites. Number five. Bram Stoker's Dracula. What can I say about this novel? I read it as a child and I, I was already obsessed with Lugosi's Dracula and the novel. Just the structure of it is so brilliant. It's, you know, it's taking you through diary entries and newspaper articles and it just, the whole thing is just, just it's just wonderful and atmospheric. Uh, and truly horrifying and it has deep social commentary that really spoke to the age when it was written and you can see it reflected in society today I think number four Stephen King's The Shining if, if you want psychological horror this is it um, King is a, is a master he creates such vivid characters and this novel really is a roller coaster um, that just really drags you through, you know, through the ringer. And uh, yeah, King's really good at that. And uh, this is him at his best. Number three, The Devil Rides Out by Dennis Wheatley. <sighs> when I was a little kid and I first read this book, it was captivating. Wheatley has a way of writing that adventure yarn and his magic is so well researched and it's, it's seamless in the way he just weaves in and out of uh, this like dramatic uh, adventure. And uh, yeah, it's just, I, I just love it. I love all of Wheatley's black magic books 
and uh, this is this is him at the height of his powers. Number two, the witching hour. I this may surprise you, right? So, Anne Rice has written a novel here that is so rich in history, and it's so so it's so dense and there's just so much going on so many wonderful characters and just she makes new orleans come alive she makes magic and the supernatural come alive and i i know this is a, a door stopper of a book but really i cannot recommend it highly enough i just i, I love everything about it it, the series itself kind of fell apart, but as a standalone novel, The Witching Hour is just wonderful. Number one, The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. <laughs> this book, when I read it, I was way too young to read this thing, and it was stunning. I had already seen the movie when I was about eight years old at the drive-in. And so I knew what to expect in the book, but it's just blasphemous. And it's a strange synthesis of the supernatural and the scientific. And the scientific horror is almost worse than, than that of the demonic. And you just feel so much for the character of Reagan. And you feel for her mother and you feel for, you know, the exorcists themselves. It's just, it's a wonderful novel. Not, not the, the best prose, but for something that really just like crawls inside of you, you know, it, this thing, this thing set with me for a very long time. And that's why it's my favorite horror novel. Thanks for bearing with me on this top 10 horror list. Uh, if you've not read some of these books, I highly recommend that you give them a shot. Um, like I said, these are some of my favorites. And I think you might dig them too.